For being aware in the instant from this and other information don't forget to subscribe to our channel. A sex video has ended French ruling party candidate Benjamin Griveaux's hopes of becoming mayor of Paris. The ex-spokesman for President Emmanuel Macron's government, who was already trailing in the race, was apparently targeted by a Russian protest artist accusing him of hypocrisy. No one should be subjected to such abuse, said Mr. Grivo, 41. The video, showing a man in a compromising position, quickly spread on social media late on Thursday. Petr Pavlinsky, who sought asylum from Russia in 2017, said he had posted the video online. How France reacted. Opponents from across the political spectrum voiced their outrage. Incumbent Mayor Anne Hidalgo appealed for respect for people's private lives, while far-left leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon condemned the attack as odious. Far-right leader Marine Le Pen suggested that for the sake of democracy Mr. Grivo should perhaps not have resigned. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe expressed his support for his former colleague and Interior Minister Christophe Castana went further, warning that publishing videos without the author's consent was an offence punishable by a significant fine and up to two years in jail. The video appeared on a little-known website that featured a profile of Mr. Grivo's political ambitions and his fanatical faith in family values. It then alleged that Mr. Grivo had exchanged intimate mobile phone messages with a young woman and sent her a personal video. A link to the site was shared by an MP who was forced to resign from Mr. Macron's LREM, Republic on the Move party in late 2018. Mr. Grivo told the BFM TV news channel that for the past year he and his family had been subjected to defamatory remarks, lies, rumors, anonymous attacks, and even death threats. This torrent of mud has affected me and above all hurt the people I love. Mr. Grivo's lawyer said he would press charges over the publication of the video, which he said violated the right to a private life. Who is Petr Pavlinsky? Mr. Pavlinsky, who says he posted the video online, first gained notoriety by nailing his scrotum to Moscow's Red Square in 2013. He fled Russia and sought asylum in France when he was accused by the authorities of a sexual assault that he denied.